Hi, my name is Jason with Global Finishing Solutions. I'm the Senior Technical Advisor, um, and today we're joined by Andrea. Andrea, what's your position Hi. here? I'm Andrea. I'm uh, the Revo Product Manager here at GFS. And we're going to talk to you about our accelerated curing system, specifically Revo. So at GFS, we've been using the Revo products for quite a while. We have a lot of customers out there. I'm sure you've seen us at SEMA, um, some of the other trade shows, um, or maybe we're even in your shop. And for those of you who are curious, hopefully we can answer some of your questions today. Um, but first, Andre, would you like to tell us a little bit about the shortwave technology and kind of how it all started? Yeah. Um, well, I come from, from a company in Italy that started manufacturing this unit, and uh, shortwave infrared has been used for probably 30, 35 years now in, in, in Europe in body shops. And the, the advantage of shortwave infrared uh, emitted by an electrical bulb like in the Revo units is that the energy has a lot of penetration. So it will basically transfer 100% of the energy that we produce with the bulb directly to the substrate. It could be plastic, it could be metal, carbon fiber, anything. And then we're heating the substrate and curing the products that we apply on it from inside out. So the high frequency of the shortwave basically travels through the product heats the metal and cures from inside out. The advantage of it is that by doing so, we, we let all the solvents and all the water that is in the product fully evaporate. And doing so, we can achieve perfect cure, perfect product shrinkage, and uh, very, very short time of curing. And that's the key, um, like he said, is, is short wave. So this is different than the older, maybe Trisk lamps you've had in your shop or some of the other medium wave brands. Um, or even some of the gas catalytic systems that you see. That's a whole different type of energy. With shortwave, like Andrea said, we're curing from the inside out. So we can go to much higher temperatures with no risk to the product and cut those cure times down significantly. While at the same time, we actually increase the quality. Because um, like Andrea said, we're, we're gonna shrink that primer 100% right now with that lamp. So 30 or 60 days down the road, um, that repair isn't going to change. Um, gonna, yeah. Correct, yeah. Once it's cured with this, it's good for a lifetime. Um, so today we'll kind of go through some of the individual units and help you pick what's best for your shop and how technicians are using these things today. So we quickly talk about the technology, right? So what the technology can do for us. And uh, to be very practical, we start with a small handled unit, very easy to move around. It's one, 110. Uh, volts you can connect it to any plug you have in your shop as you can see it's instantly on and this little unit can pack a lot of energy uh, to be very practical we can dry filler in about one minute and small roll-on patches in about three minutes this is how powerful this unit is you want to keep it like two inches away from the surface and you want to make sure you use a temp gun to control the temperature because this little unit can really bring the heat up very very fast uh, it can be used for a lot of different uses. You can remove emblems, stickers, adhesives, uh, side moldings, everything that is glued on the car. You can use it to reshape bumpers um, very, very quickly instead of using that odd hair gun that a lot of people have to use today. You see it's quite big. It's also designed to protect the user. So the external metal, it's made to avoid heating uh, the user or burning after the use, right? And it's recessed also, so they can set it, even though it's hot, you can set it on the ground right away. The hot surface is not going to be in contact with the concrete or exactly. however your shop is set up. Exactly. Very easy to use, very fast, uh, perfect for every body man out there. Yeah, and that's what will be a little bit different with this unit compared to some of the others is uh, the handheld is, we typically see it as a body man's tool, where some of the other units you're going to see are more towards the paint side. Um, like Andrea said, especially plastic repair, this is a key tool instead of that little tiny heat footprint coming out of that heat gun like we've all used fixing bumpers. This can heat up the corner of a bumper, the whole corner in 20 to 30 seconds yep. to the point where that plastic is workable. So it really speeds that stuff up. Any of you out there that have any kind of city accounts where you're doing say ambulances or cop cars and there's a lot of vinyl graphics to repair, again, this is gonna be the unit for that. Um, if you heat, heat it up to around 200 degrees, you can separate that vinyl uh, without leaving any glue behind, so it yeah, saves the messy bit. cleanup. Yeah, yeah um, we have some vinyl wrappers that use the unit, mm -hmm. um, especially to, to mold it where they have cures or remove like, pre-existing vinyls. 
um, bulb life. We, we did touch that on the uh, Facebook video. The bulbs are supposed to last about three years, right? Uh, obviously, if the unit gets dropped and the bulb breaks, it's, it's not going to last and it's not in warranty. But the bulb life of all of our units is extremely long. Um, we have customers that started buying units five years ago that still have to change the bulb. So as long as you take care of the unit, keep it clean, the bulb life is extremely, extremely high in most situations. And if you do have an accident, you smash the thing on the ground or something like that, we, we do keep all the parts in stock. Um, bulbs are... Uh, very cheap, especially relative to the other lamps on the market. Some of the older medium wave ones were hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a bulb. Um, not the case with Revo. We keep everything very practical um, and again, very easy to work on yourself. And we have little videos and manuals on how to do that. Right. So next we're going to talk a little bit about the spot unit. Um, we do have some other great videos on YouTube. We go in depth for tips and tricks at how to use this at max efficiency and, and get the best cure time. Um, in the shortest cycle time out of your shop using this equipment. So make sure you check those out. Um, when it comes to this unit, this is gonna be the first unit that's more on the paint side. We do have some body guys using it, like the handheld, it's still really good for plastic repair. You can simply set the temperature to two or 300 degrees. It'll get the bumper there um, and hold that temperature so you can work with the plastic and get it back into shape. Um, but mostly this is going to be on the paint side. So this is a great tool, still good for body filler, mm -hmm. um, but great for primer. That's where it really excels. Most of your primers that are a, a two to four hour air dry, this is going to dry those in six to eight minutes. So it's really going to shave time off. Um, like Andrea spoke about the technology before, that inside out curing is going to fully shrink that primer with this unit. But the key to this unit, and where this is going to be a little bit different than the handheld, is the temperature sensor that's right in the center. So that allows us to work with the controls on this unit. Primer, most of the time, we're going to cure around 180 degrees or so. On the controls, we can set that to 180, set up the machine and push start. This is going to heat it to that temperature we have set, and it's going to keep it within a few degrees. Anytime we go above that temperature, you'll see the light turn off. A few degrees below that temperature, it's going to turn back on. It's very easy to set up. You typically want to just line it up with your panel. Um, this is a panel that's old dried primer, but I'll show you how we do this. We'll point the sensor at the panel. On the back, there's just an on-off switch. We flip it to on. We set our temperature to 180 degrees. We'll set our time to eight minutes and push the start button. So you'll see the lamp come on and immediately start heating. Um, you don't have to worry about the light. It does get kind of warm, but you don't have to wear any special PPE. The light is safe for your eyes and all of that stuff. Um, but basically we'll set it up about a foot to two feet away. The beauty of this sensor is if this is curing and the unit gets knocked too far or too close, it's automatically gonna adjust. So the key is to just make sure your sensor's pointed at the panel and this machine is gonna do the rest for you. Uh, yeah, this unit is powered by, uh, it requires 220 single phase power. Uh, the other amazing thing about the unit is that it is extremely quick to go up to temperature. So we, we just started, Jason, and we're looking at what, 134 degrees in probably 20 seconds. The great thing of our technology is that all the energy that we produce from the bulbs goes directly transferred to metal. And to show you, I can measure the air between the unit and the panel. And you can see that it's only 79 degrees. So we're not warming up the air, we're just warming up the metal, the substrate, which is then curing the prior from inside out. And it's the same on the back side of the panel. Um, and that's another big benefit of having these units. If you're working on electric vehicles, there's position statements out there now where they say they don't want the interior of the vehicle heated. Um, so if you're using standard products in a booth, you can't bake them the same. You can do everything the same way you have. Um, so even though now our panel's at 180 degrees, we just saw it start to flicker. Um, what do you have for a temperature on that inner structure? Yeah, it was at 81. I'm at 84 now. So 84 degrees on the inner structure, so it's barely moved. You can see this is flickering, so that means we've reached our target temperature. The cool thing about this is how fast it adjusts if something were to change. So I'm going to turn the temperature down a little bit. So now it's only looking for maybe 140 and the panel's at 180. So you can see the lights are off. My hand is colder than 140. So as soon as I go in front of the sensor, you see it come on immediately. So that's how quick this unit will react to any changes or if it gets moved. So it's very safe, 
very effective and it really shaves a lot of time off. So this is going to be your go-to product on the paint side and prep side of the refinish industry. Now Jason, what paint product I need to buy to use the unit? Um, you can use pretty much everything you're already using. Uh, the key to focus on is since we're curing from the inside out, whatever primer you're using, uh, make sure you go with a medium or slow hardener and reducer. We want to keep that surface open as long as possible for all those solvents to come out. If you use a fast hardener, it's not going to speed up the time at all. The only thing you might risk is that the surface of that primer closes right away and then as those solvents come through, you'd get tiny little bubbles. Now, in most instances, you can sand those out, um, but if you use a medium or slow, you have nothing to worry about. You can cure it the same every single time. And now we're looking at the Revo Rapid unit. It's our dual head unit. Um, it's basically having two cassettes, like a double spot unit. Uh, but the advantage of this unit is that we have a set of sensor on every cassette. So every cassette is fully independent and it will read the temperature over the product in front of it. Uh, that means that the cassettes have a very flexible positioning. So you could close them to do the corner of a car and you could actually go up and down to do rocker panels or roof or hoods and you can open both cassettes to dry two panels on two separate cars at the same time. There's a lot of position you can do with this cassette. Uh, the other difference with this unit is that it comes equipped with a, a touch screen uh, where there are already preset programs for every product that you want. You can see filler, primer, edge primer, base coat, they're all in here. Plus we can add special programs for you. Very simple to position, very simple to, to start. You just select which lamp you want on, then it's going to recommend you a distance. The laser pointer is showing you if you're measuring the temperature correctly in the area that you need to dry, and then you just start a unit. We have it available on rails, very easy to move, very, very fast to position, or as a mobile unit that Jason is showing you on wheels. So it's also very easy to take around in your shop wherever you need it and be flexible into your production area. Yep. So this again is going to be a painter's tool similar to the spot unit. The only difference really, like he said, that the two heads, um, it's pre-programmed. So if you're using the spot unit, you'll have to look at your tech sheet and say, okay, my primer says 180 degrees for eight minutes. Where here you would just select the primer program and it'll automatically run that for you. And it does stop when it's finished. Um, and then obviously if you look at the unit behind me too, whether it's on rails um, or on the cart type system, it goes much higher than the spot unit. So if you had the roof of an SUV or something like that, that unit would be able to reach up there and cure it as well. Absolutely, yeah. Even because with a single head, I mean, we thought we didn't really need it to reach a roof because you're never going to dry a very small area on a roof. You need to cover the whole roof, uh, usually for the repair, right? The power requirements are a little different with this yeah, unit. Yeah, right, good point. So these units are available on 230 volts or 480 volts. Uh, they have to be three-phase. Uh, their amperage would be, we need about 35 amps for the 230 volt unit and 25 amps for the 480 volt unit. So if you have one of those bigger welders or something in your shop, you already have plenty of power for the unit. Um, but when ordering them, make sure you reach out to us. We'll verify some power specs of your shop because we do have those different power options available. And last but not least, we have our Revo Speed unit. So this is the biggest unit we make. This is typically going to get installed in a, a prep environment or actually inside the paint booth. Um, there's a lot of safety features with these that make them 100% code compliant. So no matter what area you, you're in, um, we'll have a system that'll work for you and meet that code. Um, same technology as all the other products we had, just in a much larger footprint. So what this one does is you basically position it along the side of your vehicle, whatever panels you've painted. And once we turn this unit on and run it, it'll actually track down the vehicle on its own. So you simply line it up with the first panel you painted. And if we painted the whole side of this car, this will make its way all the way down to the end of the car and shut itself off. Um, Time-wise, it's incredibly fast. Um, when we're talking about waterborne base coat, you can dehydrate a panel so you're either ready for the next coat or if you're done spraying water base all together and you're ready for clear, it's just a matter of a couple minutes before you can apply your clear. Um, similar to the other stuff as well, this does not have to be run after every individual coat. 
you can run it just after the last coat of base and after the last coat of clear. On clear coat, we're typically curing, um, depending on which clear coat, there's a lot of variability. The slowest setting would be around a foot per minute, and we can go all the way up over, there's a couple clears that are over two feet a minute. So if you had a, a fender and a door after you sprayed your clear and started the unit, that would be cured and ready to polish in well under 10 minutes, yeah. you'd be ready. So. Pretty amazing speed out of this unit, and also very energy efficient. Uh, yeah, how probably. much power does this use per well, panel? I would say that on clear, probably the two panels you were mentioning would use about two kilowatts of energy. So we're, we're looking at 25 cents to dry two panels of clear. Right, compare that to your average gas I usage. I think nationwide we're at $9 per boot cycle. So it's, it's a lot of uh, time saving. Uh, the other thing we didn't mention on our Facebook video, Jason, is that we only require one single pass. Yes. A lot of our competitors require multiple passes. Uh, yeah. That This unit is instantly on, instantly off, no preheating, uh, very safe to touch, even after it was just instantly, uh, it was on a few seconds ago. And we only go one way over the panel. So that's mm -hmm. a lot of time saving compared yep. to ours. So it's always important to do your research. Um, like we said before, we're always here to answer your questions. But if you're looking at a system like this for your shop, dig into some of that stuff a little bit. Because some may advertise faster times, but we don't realize is they have to make two to three passes sometimes over a product to cure it. Or ours, it's just one single pass and that's done and ready for yeah. polishing or reassembly. It's and compared to other solutions, uh, GFS Revo, um, all the units are available in stock in US, all spare parts are in stock in US. We have uh, uh, more than 30 distributors covering the territory, which would help you with install and maintenance and making sure your unit and your investment is good for years uh, on. We have a uh, tech service that will take care of any little problem that could come out. And mostly, we will not install something that is not compliant. Mm -hmm. So as a company, GFS takes very, very much pride on to having just the safest solution and code compliance solutions for these units. And we're very proud at what it can do for a shop and how it can really help improve the process is part of it. Right. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. So Jason, yeah, you want to mention that after yeah. the sale? So, well, unlike this vehicle here too, we, we can do a standard two panel repair with the body filler, the primer, the base coat, the clear coat the whole thing start to finish in under an hour, which is typically the traditional way what it would take just to do base and clear in the booth and cure it. Um, so it's, it's much more efficient. But you get a lot of support with this unit. We don't just send it to you and you're on your own. When a unit like this gets installed, we actually come out to your shop, we stay with you for the week. Um, the first part of the day, we just calibrate the unit. It only takes one or two runs to get that calibrated to where it should be for your specific products. And then the rest of the time, we just help you become as efficient as possible. When things are going in and out of the booth that fast, you have to work on staging things properly, masking so you can get in and out quicker. And that's a lot of what we work on with Reinstalling parts. And yes, yeah, yeah. The unit itself is very easy to operate. The process has to adapt to it. I mean, your bottleneck is not going to be clear cut or base cut curing anymore. So we need to, that's not what we need, but we want to help your shop to adapt to that change and get just more cars out quicker. Mm. Key to key time. Yes, which is huge in the industry. So if you want to see these things in action, um, feel free to reach out to us. A lot of our customers are open about letting you actually come into their shops and see them working. We have our beautiful training facility here where you can come spray any products you're spraying in your shop. Um, same paint guns, anything you have, we probably have it here. So you can get a feel for what the equipment can actually do for you. So if you have any questions or like I said, you want to see this, feel free to reach out to us and we'll help you however we can. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please send them in the comments uh, below. And as always, uh, if you like this video, make sure you click the like, click the share, subscribe. Um, we have a lot of stuff coming for you uh, week after week. Look forward to seeing you next time.